Hi and welcome to the first installment of Beyond the Beaten Base Pass, the video series that takes you to baseball treasures that are little appreciated, largely unknown, or simply off the beaten base path. I'm your host, Austin Gisrael. Today we're in Hagerstown, Maryland, inside Municipal Stadium, one of the three oldest minor league ballparks still in operation in the U.S. Built in six weeks in 1930 for the Hagerstown hubs of the Class D Blue Ridge League, this ballpark also hosted Class B teams in the Middle Atlantic, Interstate, and Piedmont leagues at various times from 1941 through 1956. In 1981, a co-op team, known by the current nickname of the Suns, was entered in the High A Carolina League and moved up to the Double A Eastern League in 1989. Four seasons later, the Suns became a member of the Low A South Atlantic League, which remains the league in which they currently play. That's five different levels and seven different leagues of professional baseball that have played in this ballpark. Perhaps the most historic event to ever take place at Municipal Stadium was the professional debut of Willie Mays, then with the Trenton Giants in 1950. The Suns have seen fit to honor this event by placing Mays' number 24 in giant orange and black above the clubhouse down the right field line. Quite a few Major League regulars have called Municipal Stadium their home, including Bill Ripken, Mike Mussina, Orlando Hudson, Vernon Wells, Brian Wilson, Matt Kane, and Carlos Gomez. In fact, there's Brian Wilson now. Oh, well, that's really just my Brian Wilson garden gnome. The Suns management has received widespread acclaim. Let me get my thumb out of Brian's face. There you go. The Suns management, as I was saying, has received widespread acclaim over the years for their unique promotions, and this little guy was a 2011 giveaway. No one, however, received more acclaim during his time in Hagerstown than one of the greatest phenoms in baseball history, Bryce Harper. Until he was promoted in July of 2011, this place was known as Harperstown. The area down the left field line that houses so many picnic tables used to be known as the Nellie Fox Picnic Porch, named in honor of the Hall of Fame second baseman. What does Nellie Fox have to do with Hagerstown? Nothing really. But the city, located as it is in the western part of Maryland that begins to narrow rather dramatically, is only eight miles from the Pennsylvania line. Fox was born in St. Thomas, Pennsylvania, about 25 miles northwest of Hagerstown. In 1956, he established Nellie Fox Bowl, which still bears his name. This bowling alley is right on Route 11, a road that predates the founding of the United States. This sign is on Pennsylvania Route 30 West and can be seen as you enter St. Thomas. Fox died in 1975 and is buried in St. Thomas Cemetery. Just a dozen or so miles south of Municipal Stadium lies the Potomac River and the West Virginia Line. The grave site of another Hall of Famer is in nearby Martinsburg, West Virginia, where Hack Wilson, a native of the town and the major league record holder for most RBI in a season with 191, is buried in Rosedale Cemetery. Hack Wilson set his record in 1930, and that brings us right back to Municipal Stadium, which, as I mentioned, was built in 1930. I hope you've enjoyed this initial edition of Off the Beaten Base Pass. I've enjoyed bringing it to you, and I'm truly looking forward to the next installment because longtime friend and fellow seam head Al Smith and I are spring training bound, and we're going to do our best to find those baseball treasures that aren't in any brochure, but instead are off the beaten base pass.